Saskatoon stocks are declining in alarming rates with management measures failing to restore stocks. This was concluded during the recent Scientific Committee of the Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission meeting in Micronesia. Dr. Kat Dory, Greenpeace Coordinator for the International Sustainable Seafood Program, says the Pacific bluefin, the region's most vulnerable tuna, is down to 4% of its original stock size and other tuna stocks are also at risk. At the closure of its meeting this week, the scientific committee found that the number of perceived vessels operating in the Pacific was at an all-time high and catches for big, big eye tuna were the highest. Dr. Dory says destructive fishing techniques such as fish aggregation devices with perceived nets are negatively affecting fish populations. A ban on the devices, she says, is urgent and overdue. Greenpeace is further urging Pacific Island governments to lead by example and transform the tuna sector.